Hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials today we're going to take a detailed look at Lineage OS 13 on the Redmi Note 4 that's correct we're going to cover almost every feature we're going to talk about the FAQs the bugs and what makes this operating system stand out compared to MIUI here we go <laughs> To start with, let's talk about the very important points that have been a main concern for users when, you know, moving to this operating system from MIUI. So one of them is camera quality. We're going to talk about that. Random reboots. Do they happen? What are the major bugs? Voice over LTE for Geo users. Is it working or not? How's the battery backup? Is fingerprint scanner working or not? Now to begin with, the camera quality is decent. I would say it is 70 or 80 percent compared to how good it is on MIUI you can use Qualcomm camera or Google camera or any other third-party solution because the camera app supplied with this particular ROM doesn't work that well we will see the samples in a while as you can look at the screen the battery backup is pretty decent but it's not close to what stock MIUI provides you probably because the ROM is not at the best of its optimization as yet now moving on let's go ahead and look at all the features of lineage OS now if you look at the lock screen there's a camera shortcut and a dialer shortcut just like cyanogen mod and you can have a pattern lock you can have a fingerprint lock yes fingerprint sensor is definitely working fine now if you go to settings and then if you go to about phone you can see it is running android 6 marshmallow and this is an unofficial build this is the third build which has been made by xda developer abhishek and it's pretty stable if you go to developer options you have all sorts of advanced options now let's have a look at the trebuchet launcher it provides you a lot of customization options like the search bar icon labels you can set a scrolling wallpaper you can decide the grid size along with that it allows you to have a rotating home screen or a rotating launcher the draw style can be configured color can be configured so basically there's a lot of customization as is expected from a cyanogen mod based rom so lineage os is nothing but a glorified cyanogen mod because lineage os is what cyanogen mod used to be now as you can see the launcher itself Trebuchet has an app lock feature wherein without the need of any third party application if you go to the settings of Trebuchet launcher you have an option to go ahead and lock the app and it would simply disappear from the menu or from the app drawer and then you can use a pattern to unlock that particular app or you can use your fingerprint as well. Let's have a look at what applications are provided with this particular ROM. First of them is audio effects. So when you connect your earphone, you can go ahead and customize your equalizer. You can increase the bass, virtualizer and stuff like that. Works pretty well. I have tried it. The next application that we're going to have a look at is the stock gallery. Now, as you can see, these are a few picture examples clicked with different uh, camera applications and the camera quality is decent enough it's not that bad it can be used as a daily driver and the gallery is pretty smooth and stockish as expected from lineage os all right the next feature that we're going to talk about is the inbuilt screen recorder that's correct this rom has a screen recorder inbuilt and it works pretty well you can also choose to record the audio and it's pretty clear so it's a very handy feature you know if you're testing some apps or you want to review them or just for fun you want to record your screen you can definitely go ahead and do that now the play store or the play google play apps that are installed on this particular firmware are the pico versions that's the minimum amount of google play apps that i've installed but you can choose to install a different google apps package Now, as you can see on the screen, this is the stock camera. 
this is one of the other cameras and uh, as you can see this is Google camera and this is your Qualcomm camera so whatever camera applications have been used you know they slightly differ in terms of uh, detail and stuff but most of the third-party solutions do a great job and you should not have a problem now, if you long press on any of the status bar icons like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it will directly take you to the settings. So that's pretty convenient. And as you can see, you have themes and a lot of other customization options in the status bar itself. Now, themes work pretty well. This is the Cyanogen Mod theme engine. So all CM themes are compatible with this particular theme engine. If you go to settings and if you go to about, you have an option to check OTA or over the air updates, which is a very handy feature. You don't have to manually download the ROM and go ahead and update it every time. You will just be getting OTA updates if it is uh, supported by the person who is building your ROM. Now, moving on, if you go to advanced options, you have a very handy feature called advanced reboot, or you, know, you can decide to relock the bootloader if you wish to. You have root access baked into the ROM, so you don't need to flash uh, Super SU or Chainfire Super User. So that's something very handy. Now, along with that, you know, in developer options, just like any other Android firmware, you have a host of options. Everything is there. Now, moving on to the features of this particular ROM, if you go to settings and look at the display and lights part, you have live display, you have rotation. It rotates 180, 270, 0, 90, all the angles. Ambient displays there, double tap to sleep, double tap to wake. So, you know, all the features that I expected from a custom ROM are not only present, but they are working perfectly fine. As you can see, the DPI mode, the font size, the battery light color and stuff is working perfectly okay. Now, if you move to the lock screen customization, you can choose to hide the pattern as you can see on the screen so the pattern will not be visible to others and making your phone more secure fingerprint scanner is working as you can see i already have two fingerprints set up and i'm adding a third finger yes you can add up to five fingerprints on this particular device as on most of the phones nowadays you can set a lock screen message which will display on your lock screen So remember, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe and know we are not done yet. Few features are still left to be uncovered. So moving on, as you can see that particular message is there on the screen. You can blur the background, which looks beautiful in my opinion. You can show the weather on the lock screen and stuff like that. So live lock screen and all the other options are present and I'm happy to report that they are working perfectly fine. And that's the reason I mentioned that this is definitely a daily driver. The battery backup is pretty good, you know, considering it has a 4100 mAh battery, the Redmi Note 4. Even if it doesn't, you know, even if the battery life is not the best, it'll still last you for a day. Now, if you go to same settings, you have an option to enable and disable voiceover LTE and stuff, and that's working perfectly fine. Now, we move on to status bar customization. You can customize almost everything in the status bar from the type of battery percentage you want what type of icons are allowed and not allowed brightness control notification count quick pull down all the cyanogen mod goodies are present and they are working perfectly fine i know i'm saying this again and again but you know for a custom rom that has just had three builds and everything is working it's pretty rare that's the reason i'm mentioning the same thing again and again privacy guard is enabled and it's completely flawless it works perfectly fine again we have protected apps over there we have blocked caller list you can block your incoming calls from marketing numbers or you know stuff like that there you go that's the advanced startup menu or reboot menu so all in all this drum can definitely be your daily driver I've just had one random reboot so far it is pretty stable if you use one of the camera apps which are mentioned in the description you should not have a problem with the camera quality 
and all the customization options, all the features of the ROM work perfectly fine with rock solid stability. So if you are a pure Android lover, like you know, you like the look and feel of Nexus or Pixel devices and you're rocking a Redmi Note 4 with an unlocked bootloader, go ahead and watch one of my videos in which I have explained how to go ahead and install this particular firmware. Use it, you'll love it. If you don't like it, there's always a way to move back to MIUI. So once again, thank you very much for your time. If you liked this video, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting videos by Smartphone Tutorials. Goodbye.